Hello friends, this is Nilesh Sevkar. In this tutorial, we'll study the basics of MUP 8086. Uh, in previous one, it was also basic, but they were uh, number conversions. Uh, now we'll go for advanced one. Uh, so this is a uh, yeah, <laughs> it looks like a computer, but uh, it's block diagram of MUP. Uh, let us demonstrate it. Let us say this is our MUP 8086. It here yeah, it have all input or output ports. That is, it will take input from here, and it will give also an output. So the direction of a arrow will be both sides. This is memory segment. Here all the data will get stored. So we'll show it like this segments. 8086 have uh, three main buses first one is address bus second one is data bus and third one is control bus control bus this is memory While taking the data from memory, uh, taking is not a technical word. Technically, we call it as a fetching the data. While fetching the data from memory, UP tells the address to memory. So uh, the direction of the address bus will be like this. Uh, address bus will never come like this since memory never tells the address to UP. Always UP tells the address. So it will be like this. Now data bus. Data bus will be bi-directional since MUP sends data to store let us say 10. So the direction of data bus will be like this. And while fetching the data from memory, so taking back this 10, direction of the data bus will be like this. So data bus will be bi-directional. Now control bus always MUP sends the control to memory so the direction of the control bus will be like this so this is a basic block diagram of uh, MUP and its peripherals now we'll see memory conversion you might be knowing all this but uh, it is necessary to brush up it all uh, one bit consists of only 0 or 1 that is it can have only two values 4 bits comes together to make a 1 nipple that is uh, we can call it as a 0 0 1 1 these are 4 bits and these 4 bits are called as a 1 nipple 8 bits equals to 1 byte 1 byte of memory likewise 16 bits becomes equals to 2 bytes 32 bits equals to 4 bytes 64 bits equals to 8 bytes 62 then 128 bits makes 16 bytes then 256 bits equals to 32 bytes 512 512 bits equals to 64 bytes and 1024 bits equals to 128 bytes and which is equals to 1 kilobyte that is 1 kb 
1024 KB makes 1 MB that is megabyte uh, this is not a big issue of conversion uh, you can see that conversions on uh, Google also just go to Google and uh, type uh, something 1 KB equals to MB you will get a box like this we'll see 1024 bits equals to 1024 bits equals to how much bytes that is 128 bytes 128 bytes so we will check this uh, 1024 KB equals to for KB equals to 1 MB same thing written over here and uh, we derived it from 1 bit to 1 MB now we'll express them in terms of 2 this is 2 raised to 3 ohm. 2 raised to 2 4 bits 2 raised to 3 8 bits 2 raised to 4 16 bits 2 raised to 5 32 bits 2 raised to 6 64 bits 2 raised to 7, 128 bits. This is 2 raised to 8, 256 bits. This is 2 raised to 9. 2 raised to 9, 512 bits. And 2 raised to 10 is equals to 1024 bits. And which is nothing but 1 KB. I'm writing down 8. Here one zero two four bits equals to one KB. Uh, now I'm multiplying it by two. So in RHS also I will multiply by two. This will give me two zero four eight bits equals to two KB. 2048 bits are nothing but 2 raised to 11 you can see 2048 so that is equals to 2 raised to 11 we got 2 raised to 11 equals to 2048 bits and that is equals to 2 kb now 2 raised to 12 equals to 4098 of bits it will be 4 KB so 13 will be uh, you calculate this bits on calcium 13 will be 8 KB 14 will be 16 KB 15 will be 32 64 17 will be 128 18 will be 256 19 will be 512 KB and 20 will be 1024 KB so finally we know 2 raised to 20 is 1024 KB which is nothing but of 1 MB you can check this Zero to four kilobytes is how much of megabytes that is one MB. So this proves over here that two raised to twenty is one MB. So we can write over here that equals to two raised to twenty. Size of the data bus of mu p eight zero eight six is sixteen bit. Because of this, 
MUP8086 is also called as a 16-bit MUP since it was the first MUP to use or to produce a 16-bit data bus. MUP8085 was having only 8-bit data bus. Now address this. Address this of a 8086 is of 20 bits. It was having a memory of 1 MB. There was a special reason behind keeping address bus as a 20 bit. We'll see what it was. Let us assume that this is a memory section. And these are small locations. I'm drawing it. Yes, this small location is uh, called as the one bit. This entire row is of eight bits. Three, four, five. 6, 7 and 8 and this becomes 1 byte we know all these things the whole memory of 8086 is 1 MB now like our home have specific address the same way each bit should have a specific address and that address should be unique for that developers of 8086 developed such addressing scheme that it will allocate a unique address to each bit let us say that we keep size of the address bus as uh, 2 bits that is 2 raised to 1 so we can access only 2 locations in the memory if we keep it as a 2 raised to 2 4 bit we can access 4 locations If we keep it as a 4 bit, that is 2 raised to 4, then we can access only 16 locations. Same way, if we keep it as a 8 bit, then we can access 256 locations. Uh, if we keep it as a 16 bit, then uh, we can access 2 raised to 16, that uh, becomes 6 uh, double 5 3 5 locations. Uh, let me check I'm correct or not. Rest two sixteen gives six double five three six eight comes three six. Uh, and if we keep it as a two rest to thirty two, that is thirty two bit address bus, then uh, we will be able to access uh, two rest to thirty two. This much of locations but we have only 1 MB of memory so 1 MB of memory is equals to 2 raised to 20 bytes that is equal to 2 raised to 20 this much of locations so developer selected the size of the address bus as a 20 bit keeping it as a 20 bit allows us to access all this much of locations and the address will be unique that means it will not get uh, duplicated anywhere so each bit will have a unique address and that was the purpose thank you guys for watching please subscribe us and see you in the next tutorial